deal, and they were able to agree on a $1 trillion budget to last until October. So I'm going to bring Rob in now to lay out the plan for you. Rob, you've been working on this all morning. So what's in it and what's not in it? Well, Jackie, a couple quick notes about this package. Uh, it will not fund the potential wall along the U.S.-Mexican mm. border, so that's out for now. Defense will get $593 billion, $20 billion more than last year's budget as President Trump makes good on his promise to build up the military. The bill will also fund health benefits for coal miners. Now, that's something that President Trump promised while campaigning, so that's nice to see. But really interesting, the EPA budget will basically stay exactly the same, losing only about 1% of the money that it got last year. The next big date to keep an eye on will be October 1st. That's when Congress will have to pass another budget plan. But some good news. The bill is the first major bipartisan piece of legislation of Donald Trump's presidency, marking the first time that Democrats and Republicans have worked together on something significant since he was elected a little more than 100 days ago, or took office 100 days ago. And how about this? House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, a Democrat who famously sparred with President Bush 43 while he was in office, had quite the flub on ABC's This Week Sunday. Take a listen. And they are not with President Bush. Excuse me. President oh, I'm so sorry, Trump. President Bush. <laughs> I never thought I'd pray for the day that you were president again. But uh, you're praying for the day that President <laughs> oh, Bush president, is president yes, again. Well, we worked, and so you asked the question: How would I work with a Republican president? The way we worked with President Bush. Ah, those those Sunday morning shows, yes. they always seem a touch more casual. I do agree with you, Jackie, that could have been a Freudian slip. I think uh, so. She, she misses him, she I think. She seems like she may have done that somewhat deliberately. But Pelosi <laughs> accidentally referring to President Trump as President Bush, and then she said that she wishes that President Bush was still president. So, hey, why is that a big deal? Mm -hmm. Well, we've seen a lot of this recently from Democrats pining for the good old days of when President George W. Bush was in office. He left office in 2009 with the lowest approval ratings in recent history. And it looks like people's memories are now starting to soften a little yes. bit as time goes on. Where they are romantic.